Hi campers, this is Rachel. I'm the livestock instructor here at MSU Tollgate Farm. And we're out here in the field with one of our steers. This is Lenny. He's a heritage shorthorn steer. So does everyone know what I mean when I say he's a steer? So all it is is kind of a gender description for a cow. So um, a steer would be a male that isn't intact for breeding. So he's been castrated. That means he cannot sexually reproduce and make any babies. And since he's a male, that also means we can't milk him, right? Because he can't have a baby, so he won't produce milk. But he does love chin scratches a whole lot. So if you look at his nose, it's really wet and slimy. And he's only got little bottom teeth, believe it or not, in the front. He doesn't have top teeth, just little bottom teeth and a big rough tongue that kind of feels like a kitty tongue. So when he's out here in the field grazing, he uses this big rough tongue to kind of bring a lot of this grass and clover and yummy stuff close to his mouth and then he tears it off with those bottom teeth. Um, so this breed is kind of what we'd call a dual purpose breed. So instead of being selectively bred just to produce beef or just to produce dairy, they can do both reasonably well. So they may not uh, be exceptional at one or the other, but they can do both and kind of hold their own. So unlike our chickens and our ducks, they don't have leg bands that help identify them. Um, so Lenny here has ear tags, and so does his little half-brother. He also has some ear tags. So the yellow one that's in their right ear, it's a pretty simple one. It's just like getting your ear pierced, right? And it has some numbers on it. And that's how we would identify him with that one. This one's a little bit more special, the one that's in his left ear. So this is called a scrapies tag. And it's actually a USDA, so a federally recognized tag. And we call it an RFID tag. So that means radio frequency identification. So with the special tool, we can actually scan this, just like you might scan something at Kroger. It would make our machine beep, and then it would show his number. So that means when you're handling cattle, if they're not as friendly as Lenny, and not as easy to get close to. You could kind of funnel them through a chute and scan them without having to, to disturb them and still keep really accurate records and be able to take good care of your cattle.